Well, now to walk us through this development is the APC chieftain, Joe Ibokwe, and he joins me here in the news tonight for his perspective on the APC presidential rally. Good to have you on the news at 10, Mr. Joe Ibokwe. So now please tell us, talk to us rather, on the significance and impact of Ashiwaju in Lagos. Well, everybody knows his story. He left power in 2007. And today, even after almost um, um, 16 years, people are still talking about, about him because of the impact that you know, he made in Lagos. I am I'm part of his, you know, part of the people that he groomed, you know. If you see me speaking to you today, it's part of, because we went to Ajuwaju's political school. As I was in the stadium today, that Slim Balogu stadium, and I was just sat down, I was looking around, and I saw men and women he has built over the years around him. He himself may not know, may not remember, but he has a kind of you know, reaching me, I mean, reaching out to others, and those other people that have reached out, we reach out to them. It's a, it has a multiplier effect down the line. You can't count them. You can't count them. You see, you, you can see them there. I use myself an example. He brought me into governance in 2005. I had been moving. I served him, he finished in 2007. Fashola returned me for eight years. I'm body four years. I then sumul almost four years now. You don't know how loaded I am from what I've learned in Lagos. And I can always trace that to the man who brought me to the fore. Same to thousands of others. And then you can, you can say millions down the line, because I know the number of people I have touched. So that's what stood him apart. I thought I stood him apart from other, other, other leaders. How oh, come? Now, since 2007, only one man is being discussed. Of all the 36 governors, only one man was able to transform the economy of Lagos from 600, 600 million, you know, uh, 600 million you know, monthly you know, revenue. revenue. So, how much now? Yeah, and that's today, proof to that as well. yes, and today, Lagos economy is bigger than that of Ghana, bigger than that of Cameroon, and some African countries. All right, let's quickly go on to our next issue now, because we understand that Lagos State Governor Bajidesh Samuel was described as Shiwaju as the architect of modern day Lagos. Now, but his critics and his opponents have argued that being a president is a different ball game altogether. How will you react to this? Anybody that has had the privilege of ruling Lagos can handle Nigeria. Ruling Lagos is a 24-hour business. <laughs> That's about 10, 10, 9, 10 o'clock. They've all gone to bed. But here, things can happen by 2 a.m. The governor will be, be the first to. You know, I've been, here, I've been in this city since, um, since, the, since the 80s. So I know what I'm talking about. It's a 24-hour city. Anybody that's had the privilege of ruling Lagos can take Abuja. You know, it's a business city, an economic nerve center, you know, school or politics, that's Lagos. So whatever Lagos sneezes, other states in Nigeria will just cash gold. That's Lagos for you. Lagos is the pr pride of Nigeria because of this, and they have had good luck, you know, in picking leaders. None has failed since 1999. None has failed. It's a continuum. You build, you transfer, they come and start where you stopped, and just like that. But you know, Nigeria is quite diverse with the multiple ethnicity groups and all of that. Can you still compare that with Lagos that is basically known to 
be an indigenous, uh, indigenous state for Yoruba ethnic ah. group. Ah, okay. Joy Bukwe is Yoruba. See, let me use Southeast as an example. All the rich men and women we have in the Southeast today, 90% of them build their, 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 their business empire in Lagos. If, if you get to know where I come from during Christmas period, you'll be seeing Lagos numbers. Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. What? The market will be full. All our markets. When, once in January 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, when they begin to go back to Lagos, the whole town will be like just a graveyard. You know. What Igbo people have in Lagos, they don't have a quarter of it in Ibo land. This is the hub. Don't, don't forget that you have about 25 going to 30 million people here. That's a potential market. Have you been to the markets? You see that all West African countries are coming to Lagos for, to come and buy, come and buy goods and go. You go to Aspanda, you see them. Lagos is a hub. And it will continue to expand. It will continue to expand because once you have people in that number, 25 to 30 million people, you see huge markets. Bring anything here you sell. Food you sell. Go to Lagos Ibanez restaurants and stand there early in the morning. You see trucks from the north coming in with mm. food items. Before you know it, Lagosians, you know. All right, so point taken there. Let's, let's quickly move on to another issue where we understand governors from the north and south were present at the rally. But what does this say about comments that he may be enjoying the support from all regions in the country? Of course, he's a good man. I've told you, I see what you can pick anybody from anywhere in this country and make him relevant in Lagos. He has taken a lot of people to the Senate, to the House of Reps, to the set assemblies, given a lot of people jobs. You won't forget. So he has built formidable followership across Nigeria. I know I, we used to go to his house. Sometimes we just go to his house in the evening, just have to have an evening with him. We see somebody coming from probably from Daura or from uh, Gongola State, you know, presenting a certificate. You know, they will go and tell, okay, okay I, want to run to the ha I want to run for the House of Reps. Please support me. He will support you. He will encourage you and you go. So he is a special person. And those of us he has raised feel that um, this is payback time. This is payback time. If you go, I know, I know many of us that are, that are working for him. You know, because he, we know what he's capable of doing. Mm. He can be trusted. He knows where he's going. He stands for something. He's dependable. He cares. He cares. All right. You know, and uh, he has that goodwill. That's why people are getting attracted to him. Just, you know, the bees. All right. And that's a fine place yeah. to live it. APC yeah. Chifton, Drew Ibokwe. We appreciate your insights on the news at 10 Thank tonight. You. Thank you so much.